today's video. I've been waiting for this palette to come out for so long. That's what we're doing today. We're using one of my favorite palettes ever. This is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, and I'm actually gonna be following along Jaclyn Hill using her palette, so. I'm excited for this. You guys know I love this palette. I featured it in so many videos. We stood in line the day this came out. Not for one hours, not for two hours, not for three hours, four hours in Burbank at the Burbank store in the heat the day this released and I purchased it and I love it and I've been using it every day since. I love Jaclyn Hill, so. It makes me so, so sad. Honestly, I think off camera, I would actually tear up. That's how much I've always supported Jacqueline, always really liked her, and it just makes me sad. It's just sad. All right, friends. Let me make sure the mic is off. Today, I'm filming a video I don't think I ever thought I would film, and I was a little, I don't even know if I'm gonna post this, but I feel like I should, because for years, literally years, I have always told you guys how I'm a big, huge fan of Jaclyn Hill. I've literally been watching her since she started her channel, all the way up until now. I've bought a lot of the products that she comes out with. You guys know I bought a million. Let me go get them actually. Hang on. The day her Morphe, uh, Morphe collab palette came out, I went, I vlogged this. If I can find the footage, I'll put it in. I went and bought five of the palettes, maybe six of them. I say palettes because I bought so many. Still, like, top five favorite palette of all time. I love this palette, that's why I keep these, so when I run out, and another thing is, when these came out, do you guys remember they told us that it was limited edition? So that's why I bought so many, and then to find out they would be sold, like, around the world and Ulta and everything was kind of annoying. But whatever, we'll get to that stuff later. My point is, I've always been a long time, huge supporter of Jaclyn. A lot of the things, most of the things she comes out with, I purchase. I didn't buy her key sunglass collection because I still need more sunglasses. And then, of course, because if you're a long time fan like I am, you know she's been talking, Jaclyn Cosmetics, Jaclyn Cosmetics, Jaclyn Cosmetics is coming. She's been talking about it for years. I've been waiting for years because I love her. I trusted her. I thought these are gonna be like really good quality products i cannot wait just like the morphe palette it's an amazing palette still i love it maybe even top three palettes for me so when these came out i recently purchased them i purchased them on launch day picked up two of them i did film a recent video saying something is wrong with my lipsticks all right, I thought I would use my phone because you could probably see it a little better, but do you see that? It's kind of discerning. I'm like, mm, do I really want to put that on my lips? It was the first thing I noticed, and a couple flew off after I opened the lipsticks. Because something is really wrong with it, friends. I'm like past the point of feeling bad for her. I'm just, I'm at the point now where I'm upset. So in that video, I'll insert clips. I tell you guys, oh, there's like a little hair or something. I hadn't seen anybody's review. I hadn't seen Rob Christie's video. I hadn't seen Marlena's tweets on Twitter, Makeup Geeks creator. I hadn't seen any of that stuff. I just thought it was a hair. And I told you in that video, I think I'll just use it anyways. It's just like a hair, right? Like, what is that? Come to find out that is actual mold growing out of the lipstick. That's when I was like, okay, Jacqueline, I've had enough. I don't want another I'm sorry video. I don't want an explanation video. I'm just done. I mean, there's just so many instances when she comes out with things. And the reason I didn't want to make this video is because I feel like there's a lot of these going around. And the only reason I feel like I might upload this is because I feel like I need to backtrack on a lot of the things that I told you guys, my viewers, because I don't feel that way anymore. And I want you to know that. This isn't meant to bash Jacqueline to make her feel bad. It's more so me doing it for you guys because for years I've told you I've been a fan. In that most recent video, I even told you, I think I'll still use these. You know, it can't be that bad. It's maybe just like dust. Jacqueline says, 
if you saw her tweet, Jacqueline said, oh, it was, they used different gloves in the lab and it's just from the gloves. Can you just take a minute? I work in the medical field and anyways, that doesn't matter. I digress. This whole mess has just made me be like, I'm done, Jacqueline. I can't. I can't support you anymore. I can't. And I feel horrible saying that. But, I mean, all the years I've told you guys, I trust her. I think she's great. I think people give her a hard time. She releases something, and then it has to be backtracked. And then she releases something else, and it has to be backtracked. And after the fourth time, I was like, okay, this is starting to get weird. It's kind of a pattern. But now to release this... And let's just say, I'm trying to give her the benefit of the doubt and say, maybe she had no idea. Maybe this isn't old stock. Maybe it hasn't been sitting around for years. Maybe the quality control wasn't there. Maybe she couldn't afford the great labs that she's talking about. I don't know. I'm pretty sure she wouldn't release this had she known that this was going on, right? There's no way. I just don't think someone that put so much time and effort and years into creating an amazing palette like this. This girl here, I don't believe that she would knowingly put these out knowing that they were growing mold and having holes in them and things like that. I don't believe that. I do believe that she didn't know that they had these issues, but I do believe that if you know if a product is sitting, every single item needs to be checked quality control point blank period if you know you've had these lipsticks for a year two years three years four years however long every seat every single item should be checked before you release it it's just bad it's just bad it it, sh it seems lazy it seems wrong i mean you're putting people's health at risk and that's when i was just like i'm done mm -mm. i don't think and this I'm not gonna cry. Okay, calm down, Nikki. I've never cried on camera. But it just makes me so sad because you know when you watch, and some of you might feel this way about me. I hate to toot my own horn. You know when you watch someone for so many years and you just feel like they're your friend? I kind of felt like she was my friend and I feel like she just like totally let me down. And what I was gonna say is, I don't think I'll ever buy anything from Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. I don't want to. Why would I? And I was telling you guys in that most recent video, I love this packaging. So, so I was thinking of keeping these just as like a memento to say my last Jaclyn Hill purchase because I do like looking at them, but they have freaking mold in them. So what is even the point? I'm probably going to return them. I've honestly been vacillating all week, like return, don't return, return, don't return, but I'm never going to use them. I don't want mold on my vanity, so I might as well just return them. It just makes me so so sad honestly i think off camera i would actually tear up that's how much i've always supported jacqueline always really liked her and it just makes me sad it's just sad so that's why i made this video friends not to bash jacqueline but just to let you know you know i'm sad when i can't even look at you guys i'm you know i'm always looking at you guys and i'm just like off um I just wanted to let you know because that most recent video I was like I'll use them it can't be that bad I'm not using them and I don't know if I'll purchase anything from her again so as always I'd love to hear your thoughts down below are you over hearing about this I know there's a million videos out I don't even know if I'll post this video just because I feel like people are just trying to get views they're so not everybody but some people are just bashing her to bash her and I've never ever wanted to do that you guys know that here on my channel. This is making me so, I'm like sweating. I actually might be the 20 pound wig I have on though. Could be the wig, could be the sweat, could be Jacqueline pissing me off, or a mixture of both. Let me know your thoughts down below. Subscribe, give this a thumbs up for more honest, true, real, unbiased reviews. And I will see you soon, friends.